Hello television viewers, my name is Nick and welcome back to my channel for the first ever video from my brand new place. The apartment is new, the shirt is still the same one that I always seem to be wearing, but at least there's progress being made in some aspect of my life. If you guys follow me on social media, then you know that moving here has been a process, as it is for everybody, but I am settled, I am here, I am queer, get used to it. Cause today, we are creating furries! No, fuzzies, I'm so sorry, these are called fuzzies. Furries are something different. Don't Google it, just move on with your life. Pretend I said nothing, uh, all right, fuzzies. This is an as seen on TV toy that we're gonna be trying out. This video was inspired by one of you television viewers out there, Jess M, who sent me this really amazing package which included a hilarious deck of cards called That Guy Playing Cards and this wonderful note which I will treasure forever. Among other things, it's said in here that she would love to see a video on dollar store toys. Jess, thank you so much for your letter. It, I'm just speechless that you would send me something so nice and it really touched me, so thank you. This fuzzies kit is not a dollar store toy. It was about $12 at Target, but I am also collecting a lot of dollar store toys to play with with you guys, and I will show you what I have so far at the end of this video so you can let me know what you want to see next. If you're into videos that unbox toys and play with new things, give me a thumbs up so that I know to keep doing it, and if you haven't already, I hope you'll click that subscribe button so that you never miss new videos from me every week. So what is a fuzzies? Instead of explaining it to you, I say let's do what we do best and watch the commercial. Hit it! Fuzzies. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzzies! Step and spray your buzz, buzz, fuzzies. Wash and dry your buzz, buzz, fuzzies. Make and hug, fill with love. Buzz, 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 fuzzies. It's fuzzies, the fuzzy friends you create yourself. Start with the fuzzies form that's your fave. Stuff it with clouds of magical transforming fluff. Spray and stuff till it's filled just enough. Then wash and tumble dry. Surprise! You've made your own fuzzies, buddy, right before your eyes. There's no sewing. Just stuff. Spray and spin, and let the fuzzies fun begin. Eat sold separately. Must be 18 or older to order. Fuzzies! My favorite part of that commercial and this toy in general is that they're really selling the no sewing aspect of it. You mean I get to melt together a ball of sock lint in my dryer and not have to learn how to sew first? It says you will need liquid soap, scissors, a bottle of water, and a washer and dryer. Huh, those last two might be a little hard to come by at your local craft store, but I luckily do have a washer and dryer in the basement of my new building, and I have a lot of laundry to do. I don't know if you can throw these in with a load of actual laundry. On the commercial, it made it seem like you could. So, if I ruin a whole load of my clothing, I don't know what I would do if that happened. I would probably just kill myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's make this toy. Shout out to my new water bottle too. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, then you already know that I'm obsessed with this thing. But look, you roll these bands up to keep track of how many bottles of water you drink throughout the day. They're rubber. It said you could also wear them as a bracelet, but come on, look at me. I'm not gonna wear a bracelet. Let's pop this puppy open. What do you think? Oh, little balls, some blue fabric, white fabric thing, bunny mold. I'm guessing these are the buttons that keep the mold together. And this mold, I thought it would be silicone, but it's actually like that craft foam you can buy in sheets. Those look like the buttons you can use for the eyes and the nose. And then finally, this spray nozzle. It said it didn't include a bottle, but I think the idea is you can just screw this onto a bottle of water. I'm a little freaked out that apparently this toy requires a full length novel to understand how to work it, but also kudos to them for a full color instruction booklet. That is a little more effort than other toy companies would be willing to put into this. This diagram is talking about all of the joints that this creature will have, and I'm already feeling like I'm in a little bit over my head. Essentially, the first step is to fill my spray bottle with water and then, quote, add three big squirts of dish soap. It also says to have something to protect your work surface, but I feel like I'm just spraying soapy water, so no, I'm not gonna do that. Three big squirts. So next it gives me this little guide. It says to pull out this much fluff and then stick the nose post through. I would say that looks about right. It smells of nothing, by the way. So it's essentially the same amount of fluff for the eye. And now I'm going to repeat that same process with the blue eye. The eyeball is actually gonna be sticking outside of the rest of this mold. That's how it says it's supposed to look. And now, soak. Press down in smooth flat. Make it really, really wet. Oh, that's probably why they wanted me to protect my work surface. I'm gonna be getting wet. We'll put a towel down just to be safe. Now I've got my 
Ooh, that's hot. Here we go, first spray. Mmm, this dish soap smells really good. It's like tropical rain. Really satisfying to press this down with the foamy water because it gives me a lot more control. It becomes almost like a clay. There's a slight outline in the mold so that I have an idea of where the border of the spot should be. That was the first chunk of this fuzzy's blue dog and I am sold. This is fun already. Now, as you can imagine, I'm basically gonna repeat that process with the eye and the nose piece. The commercial really didn't show that the water they were using was soapy. And I gotta say, this whole product makes a lot more sense to me now because that soap is sort of binding these fibers together and making it really easy to mold into this. So now our little guy has a face. I haven't decided what we're going to name him because that's another thing I can ask you to do for me. Tell me what you think we should name this guy when he's done. I'll announce the winning name on my Facebook page later on. The next step is to put those posts from the eyes and nose through this triangular piece of material and then screw on the washers to make sure the eyes can't be pulled out. It says to ask an adult for help with this because it needs to be really tight. Luckily, I am the strong adult I know and I know everyone even Arnold Schwarzenegger and he said I could beat him in a fight don't research that you won't find it on just don't look into that claim that one is on as tight as it will go so thanks Nicholas the strong adult for getting that done you're welcome have fun playing with your toy next up I'm just going to measure out the amount of fluff that I need for each of the spots and spray those into place. Next is another unexpected part that I'm learning about that I have to be careful of, and that is the joints, meaning the floppy parts of the animal, the arms, legs, and ears. Basically, it's important that I stretch one piece of fluff to connect the head and the ears and the body and the arms, to keep the arms connected. I love the little cartoon of him saying, this keeps my ears connected. Oh, does it? Well, you wouldn't want your ears flopping off and blood spurting out and your brains leaking everywhere, would you, little guy? No. Ugh. I just splattered soapy water all over to my face. So now, without much further explanation needed, I'm basically going to repeat that with the joints for the legs, the arms, and the neck, and then line the entirety of the outside of the mold. Spray, spray, squish, squish, spray, spray, squish, squish, spray, spray, squish, squish, spray, spray, squish, squish. Now it's raining. Soapy water. Why did I do it? Cause I'm stupid. Did you notice that on the commercial it showed kids making some legit customizations with the white and the blue fluff? I'm just saying, I know my limits. I would have to at least knock out one of these guys using their pattern before I was able to move on to do anything cool or custom like that. Also, I gotta say, because I'm just using soapy water, this is a very pleasant smelling experience. Everything smells very clean. I feel like a product like this could just as easily reek of harsh chemicals and I'm very glad that it doesn't, especially since presumably kids would be playing with these toys later on and sleeping with them in their beds. Okay, we're coming up on the last few steps which involve covering these pom-poms with more blue fluff, stuffing those into the head and chest cavity, and then sealing everything up. Ooh, I like the squishy feeling of these ones in my hand. And then it says to completely cover the pom-pom areas in that stretch, soak, and smooth fashion that we know so well at this point. I'm really packing it in there just to see what happens. I feel like it'll make it more durable when it's done if I really jam this material as much as I can into the mold. I've used all the blue fluff, which it said I'm supposed to do, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of my white fluff to fill in the backs of the feet. Ta-da! It looks kind of like a blue Noid right now, doesn't it? From the pizza commercials? Or maybe a Smurf with its white boots. So now it simply says to put the back onto the mold like this and then use these button-like clips to clamp it together. Getting all of these little clips on has been the most time-consuming part. As you can see, the little post just popped through a hole there. Then I'm gonna lay this one on first. This part takes some muscle. It's a little frustrating but gotta do it. Oh, okay, that was a process, but we've got this guy all buttoned up, basically like a clip. You fold it like that around the edge of the thing and snap together. So it says to put this through two hot wash cycles with dark colored clothes. And I can see why they're saying dark colors because there's some blue 
colored juice dropping out of these. If you threw this in with whites, there would probably be a chance of tinting your clothes blue. So I'm going to put it through two washer cycles with hot water and only dark clothes. Then just one hot cycle in the dryer and presto. So, all right everybody, well that guy's in the washer and dryer. My hands feel so soft from that dish soap, by the way. I thought we could have a quick crew meeting. Town hall, everybody, to discuss a couple of things that I need your opinion on. First and foremost, it has been far too long since I've done a toy commercial commentary and I plan on doing another one very, very soon, but I am fresh out of ideas as to what type of toys I should cover. So if you could let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, whether it's a brand that I can show the evolution of their toys or a type of toy in general, please let me know what you're dying to see next and I will see if I can make it happen. If not this week, then the next week. I'm doing social media for a new company starting tomorrow. Very excited, so it's gonna be a little bit of a crazy week, although I will do a toy commercial commentary ASAP. Now, also let me know which of the following toys you would like to see me play with next, in addition to a toy commercial commentary. I have this Hot Wheels triple target takedown, then I have this game called Jelly Belly Bean Boozled, which I'm so excited to play. This was recommended to me by Sophia in the comment section. Sophia, thank you for pointing me in the direction of this game, because it sounds hilarious. Basically, you spin this wheel and it tells you which color jelly bean to pick, and that jelly bean might either be something delicious, such as coconut or something disgusting such as spoiled milk. Honestly, I'm very excited to play this, but I also sort of feel like I should wait until I see my family next month in May because they would get a kick out of playing this and I would love to play it on camera for all of you with them. I've got these alien shrinky dinks, shrink art, or jelly wiggly bugs. You mix up some concoction, and then you mold it into these little bugs and it comes with fake grass, I think, so you can arrange them in this little terrarium. So there are four options, Hot Wheels, Bean Boozled, Shrinky Dinks, or Jelly Bug. Let me know in the comments which of those you'd like to see me open up for you next and that's what we'll do. Think of a name for him as well and drop that in the comments if you would be so kind and we'll be right back to unmold him. We're about to remove the bear from the dryer. We're gonna remove our bear from the mold. We did it. Two wash cycles and one dry cycle and our guy made it through. Looks like everything is still pretty much intact. All of the buttons stayed on. You can tell even by looking at it right when I took it out of the dryer, um, it's clearly like retracted from the walls of the mold, which is what I kind of expected would happen. It would just melt and contract into one little knot. Now we're gonna pop them out of the mold. I hope that these things are easier to remove than they were to put on. Seems like they are. The instructions were saying that if he felt loose when you took him out or he was falling apart, you could put him back in this mold with more water and then put him through the wash cycle again. It seems like you would be able to reuse these clips and I guess you could reuse this mold too, but I would never fucking ever go through the hassle of putting that on again. If I had more than one kid, I still wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The buttons are coming off and I can feel this thing starting to lift up, but I don't want to reveal him yet. Plus, his face must be stuck to the inside of the mold. Ready? Here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Wow. Okay. Slip his eyes through these holes. Ugh, okay. There's a smell. <laughs> Here he is. Looks pretty good right off the bat, I think. It smells exactly like burnt plastic or like the hairspray buildup in the vent of a blow dryer. Still is soapy and detergent -y. Whatever that initial bad odor was, it's dissipated. He does seem to be intact, and these spots came out kind of nicely. They're definitely well-shaped, and there's a nice line of demarcation between the colors. That effect was easy to achieve, like in the commercial. The instruction manual said to take a pair of scissors and basically cut off this excess. This part's fun, too. Snip snipping all of his little extra hair out of the way. As I'm working with it, I, I gotta say, I'm still getting from time to time a whiff of wet hair. Like exactly the smell of wet shampooy hair. Like if you gave an actual dog a bath. Dun da da da! And there you have it, our finished blue fuzzies dog puppy thing. 
It looks awesome, almost exactly like it does in the picture. It seems like if I wanted to, I could pull it apart. So I don't know how long a stuffed animal like this would last in a household with children. But I think that with toys like this, really the process of putting it together is the experience that you're paying for, not necessarily to have a lifelong keepsake or an actual stuffed animal replacement. Taking that into consideration, this would absolutely keep a child entertained for a good three hours. You have to follow all of these instructions. Your kids are watching you curse as you snap those little buttons together. And then they have to sit through two wash cycles and a dry cycle before they take it out and this is what we get. And the process is very engaging, so I felt like I was, you know, deeply creative the whole time. And it is pleasantly soft, you know, I mean, oh no, he's getting stuck in my beard. <laughs> This was a fun craft. I can even see getting the teddy bear or the cat one because it might be fun to try out with a couple different colors. If you enjoyed watching me put together this fuzzies and you would like to see me do a couple more, give me a thumbs up. That way you can let me know to keep them coming. Don't forget to vote on a name in the comments for this guy. I don't know, however, if it's gonna fit in the jar of small curiosities I've acquired. Yeah, it might. Help me. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more stuff like it every week and you haven't already subscribed, we would love to have you join the crew that helps me put these videos together by clicking that button over there that looks like me or the button that looks like that down below. You can click the bell icon to get notified every single time I upload. We covered a lot of stuff in our crew meeting today, so let me know what you want to see next. Follow me on social media to get new updates every day. Thank you guys so much for watching and helping me bring our beautiful grandchild into the world together. You guys are all the greatest. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.